Okay, so there's coming out of the closet. And I've been out of the closet since I was about 13. So that's not a big deal. But then there's shooting a video talking about your sexuality and posting it on the internet, which to me just feels like out of the closet times 1,000 or something. Uh, but this will be a bit of a delay when this goes up. But this morning I posted a video talking about my experience with gender. And that video is kind of part one to this video. So if you haven't watched that, my video about gender, you should watch that, my experience with gender video, watch that one first and then watch that one. So that'll give you a little bit of a history on me. I kind of talked about my experience being a tomboy and being one of the guys and uh, a lot of that in that video. And so I didn't have time to even go into my sexuality and I said that I would and there are already people telling me they're looking forward to this video and I'm a little nervous and I just need to go ahead and film it and get it over with because otherwise I don't want to chicken out and not film it. So we're going to do this. <laughs> Ooh. It's going to get... <laughs> so I guess my, you know, at first when you're young, you're not really attracted to anybody and I was just a little tomboy. Uh, and then I guess puberty kicks in when hormones and all of that natural chemistry body stuff goes on. And I remember wanting to kiss other girls or a few the few female friends I had I remembered wanting to kiss them and I knew that that wasn't the way you know these girls played with each other you know at that point because I think I'm probably 11 or 12 maybe you know girl kids really are playing with each other at that point they're not thinking about um, all of this and I went through puberty early that's another thing altogether um, and then I don't even know why I was so confused though by that because I grew up in a hair salon so I've been around gay, uh, lesbian, and transgender people my entire life. So it just didn't click until I was a little bit older. Hey, 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 hey puppy dog, no, puppy dog, dust a pin. Come here, come here, we're not going to do it. Come here, no, go sit down, go sit down. Um, it just didn't click. And then, you know, when I was a little bit older, only a couple years later, 13, 13 or so, I had already dated a few guys. Um, and it wasn't really a spark. I didn't have the same magnetism towards the guys that I had dated. But, you know, I was just trying to figure out how being attracted to people works because you're really young and that that's all confusing when you're that age all of it I think whether you're straight or not it's confusing um, because parents don't really sit you down and talk to you about a lot of it <laughs> uh, so you know I I openly dated my first girlfriend when I was 13 or 12 I think I was 13 and that was great, and there was a lot more spark there. Um, but, gosh, I don't know. I'm, I'm 31 now, so this was a while back. And I feel like even now, things are much more open because back then, just because I was open and out about dating guys and girls, so I was thought, about, thought of as like just being rebellious or just showing off or... You know whatever but it, in reality I was not ashamed you know and I didn't know why I should be ashamed so I was open and out about it but you know uh, it was thought of as like trying to be trendy and then after that like a lot of girls who went on to as far as I know become straight women had at that time were all of a sudden dating the girls because it became very trendy which was kind of annoying but, you know, that's their deal. You know, if that's what they wanted to do. I, but it, I, I don't care now. Like, back then, when I was a teenager, it was kind of annoying. Because it was like, you just, you know, it just felt like, why are you faking this? It's not a game. You know, it wasn't a game. 
it wasn't a game to me. It was very real. But back then, I guess p- people at my age, because I was, cause like I said, I think like about 13 or 12, eighth grade. I know it was eighth grade. I don't know how old I was then. Weren't out. They just weren't. And there's still this stigma, you know, around being bisexual or if you date all genders, you know, that, oh, just pick one or make up your mind or you just like sex. And that's not even it at all. That's really not it at all. Or, and then there's this other thing. It's like, oh, well, but you're with a man now. So that's why I was like, I don't know if those women really are straight. They may really not be, but it seemed like they were just doing it for attention. You know, you can tell when people are trying to get attention. But, you know, that's the other thing. I don't want to put them in this box because people do that to others where they're like, oh, but you're with a man now, so you must be straight. And it's like, what? No. <laughs> you know? And that's not how it is either. Um, oh, I got off track. Hang on. Mm. So, you know, back then, you know, I thought I was bisexual. But then as I, there, I went through even a period like towards the end of high school where I kind of realized that I wasn't really sexually attracted to most of the men that I was involved with. We had like kind of a deep, you know, like well, some of us, some of them were just some, some, some of those relationships were just, but that everyone has those too. <laughs> Um, but, you know, a lot of the, the good relationships, we were, it was like friends, and we had very great friend connections, but there wasn't necessarily a, a sexual spark. Didn't mean I didn't like and care about them. Um, but, like, I noticed that the relationships that I had with women, there was more spark, there was more physical attraction, so I was like, oh, you know, I really probably must be a lesbian, and I should probably start dating, stop dating these men. And, you know, I, I, that's where I was for a while. And then if you look at my life now, David is a guy. (laughs) And there's definitely sizzle and spark there. And he's also my best friend. So I, you know, I've come a long way, I feel, with my sexuality and I, I wouldn't necessarily say that I am bisexual now, and I wouldn't say that I'm a lesbian. Um, I don't know if there's just, if I need to put like a name to my sexuality, but I mean, for me, it just seems to be people like, you know, it's, it's good like, it's, I'm attracted to, like, souls, not genders. I don't know. It's just, like, I am attracted to the person, and the person's gender is just a bonus, or not a bonus, because everyone has a gender, but the person's gender is just what's attached to that person that I'm just really head over heels for. Uh, so, the gender, yeah, I, I, I love people, not body parts, and body parts are attached to the people that I love. So that is, I guess, my (laughs) relationship with my sexuality. And now I'm going to go back and watch that and see if it made sense and get up the courage to post this video. (sighs) Anyway, guys, um, let me know. Thumbs up if you like this video. I might do more personal videos like this in the future believe I just said that. Um, And I will talk to you guys next week. (laughs) Bye.